Hey guys, Dave here. Quick thing I wanted to do as I'm uploading a video to YouTube. So I upload videos all the time, and one of the issues that I run into is that I need to limit my upload speed so I can continue to use my connection, because if I saturate my upload speed, my download, I can't download anything, I can't watch videos, or it's very, very slow, or very, very, it's ridiculously slow. So let's just take a look at it real quick. I have my task manager pulled up here where I can see my network connection. So here's my ethernet connection. We're seeing, we're using 22.6-ish megabits per second. I have a 20 megabit per second upload speed. So I wanna change that. I'm using the Edge browser. Now this can be done in Edge or Chrome or any Chromium based browser, but I'm using Edge, so Let's just roll with that. Let's select our browser, Control Shift I. Then it's going to pop up this little welcome screen right over here. So let's click on this welcome and there's going to be welcome to Microsoft Edge Dev Tools. So we're in the Dev Tools and if we click on this double arrow over here for the more tabs, we can go over to the network tab. So I'll pull up my network tab and it's right here. We wanna go over here to YouTube upload. So if there's no throttling on on the YouTube upload. Let's go back to my network. We can see we are at 22-ish megabits per second. If I wanted to throttle it, what I would do is I'd go down here to this, this custom and I'd hit add. It would take me to a profile. I could create a custom profile or edit the profile that I currently have. I'm just gonna call this YouTube upload. I'm gonna leave the download kilobits per second blank and I'm gonna change the upload kilobits per second to 10,000 or 10 megabits per second and I will leave the latency blank. So I wanna make sure that we're only uploading at 10 megabits per second, only half of my connection is saturated. Well, we're over here on this uh, ethernet, we can see we're doing the 22.4 megabits per second. I'll go over to YouTube upload and then we'll tab back over and this should drop down. <laughs> it's not actually dropping down. Come on, work, please work. Oh, uh, why isn't it working? Uh, okay, let's add another one. YouTube upload two. 10,000 megabits per second upload speed. Boom, so that's our profile. Let's click the profile two. Now that we've selected the profile two, we should be able to come over to our ethernet and there we have it we are down to 9.5 megabits per second. Not sure why YouTube upload one is not working correctly, but uh, we can go ahead and delete that since it's not working. So there we go. We, <laughs> we, we troubleshoot it a little bit to make sure that it works and it works and there we go. So we can throttle both download and upload speed. You don't have to download anything else. You don't have to try and get another application to make it run, you can do it directly in your browser and it's super awesome. So hope this helps if you're uploading anything or just downloading something really, really big files you don't want to saturate your entire connection. It works really, really well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.